this one has its own sort of sneaky thing on it. So I'll help you out and then I want to see how far you can get on your own. Okay, without me holding your hand, <laughs> all right? Um, let's, like we did before, um, sorry, I didn't give you enough space at the top. Let's write this again down the bottom um, so that we can actually do some like work on this thing. It says y equals two f of x. What is it? Plus one, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Now, um, just like in the previous question, um, you have to do some rearrangement before you start putting pen to graph, okay? Yeah. So the first thing I want to point out is, see how that X is inside the brackets, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I sent you that picture of the scrum, like things have to be close to the X to change the X. Yeah. The two numbers here, the two and the plus one, they're not related, they're not related to the X at all. Yeah. So even though the first graph we did, all of the changes were horizontal, mm -hmm. Changes here are not going to be horizontal, okay? So that's a big clue. So oh, how do I... do you have to divide by two? Mm, so, well, okay, let's, let's do that as a suggestion. So if I divide by two... Wait, is that right? Well, let's, let's try it out. Sorry, I'll try. Okay. No. So if I divide by two, I get y divided by two mm -hmm. equals... Uh, what do I get on the right-hand side? f of x plus a half. Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. Um, now... I can immediately see, see that y over 2, that's this dilation idea. That, that over 2 is directly acting on y. Mm -hmm. So there's dilation, but it's not going to be an x dilation. Yeah. It's going to be a, a y dilation. Okay. So this is going to be some vertical, bigger or smaller. Yeah. Um, is it bigger or smaller? It's bigger. Very good. So this is actually, we didn't graph this, but it was the example that I said over here. Yeah, um, yeah when you, everything's weird and backwards. You divide, things get bigger. Mm -hmm. um, you multiply, like the example we just did, things get squashed cool. in. Okay, so good. Um, that's fantastic. And then um, minus the half on that other side. Right, so that half, because it's not inside with the x, even though it's over on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. it's not changing x at all. So yeah. if we subtract, um, whoopsie daisy, I get y over 2 take away a half equals f of x. You don't like it, do you? Well, <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you the question. I'm going to ask you the question, right? Um, it's not that I don't like it, I just think we're not done. Um, okay. This suggests a dilation. Mm -hmm. What's the other kind of change that we get from this? It's a transformation. Uh, transformation is the general word we use to apply to all of these. So the particular kind of transformation is, starts with trans as well, but it's translation, right? Oh, sorry. So sorry, it's the sorry. slide okay. or the shift, okay. right? But how, how far is the slide or the shift? Only a half to the right. Now, it looks like it's a half, but there's two big problems. Okay, number one, is it horizontal or is it vertical? I don't know. Have a think. Um, when we had a look at our previous example, if right? If impacting on Y, it would be vertical. Aha, uh -huh. so, so in this first example, it was impacting on X. Yep. So it's horizontal. But this guy is impacting on Y. You can see it over there on the left-hand side, yeah. right? So therefore, it's going to be an up and down thing. Okay, but even more, you remember how we saw like, ah, oh, that minus six from before was not minus six. Okay. This isn't minus a half either. There's a factorization we can okay. do here. Can we multiply by two? Now, we could multiply by two, but that will undo, like you Everything said, we've yeah, done, you yeah. told me to divide by two, right? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is remember when we had that two X minus six, yeah. we factorized. So what's the common factor on the left hand side? It's a bit weird because they're fractions. Yeah. Isn't the common factor a half? Yeah. Like you've got y yeah. and times a half, and then you've got a half, right? So if I factorize that, what do I get left with? y minus 1? Is it 1? Perfect. Okay. Um, one of the great things about factorizing, whenever you're in doubt, is like, did I, did I factorize it right? You, just, you just expand it. it. Yeah, just, just undo it, and you're like, oh, a half times y gives me y on 2. Mm -hmm. um, a half times minus 1 gives me minus a half. So I'm good to go. Equals, equals f like of x. x. Okay, fantastic. So the sneaky thing about this to begin with is all these numbers look like they're on the right hand side changing things over there. But, but you, yeah, you can see they're not actually in with the x, right? Mm -hmm. So um, they really all belong on the left hand side. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we've got two changes. And we kind of already said this along the way, but let's just make sure we've got it stated one at a time. Okay, you told me that that half is going to be a um, it's going to make things bigger vertically. So it's going mm -hmm. to stretch vertically. How far? Um, it's going to be double, right? Yeah. So I'm going to say this is twice as tall. Oops, I can spell. Twice as tall. Okay. And then what does that minus one do? Which way am I going to go? Right. Hmm, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. It's no, vertical. No. It's vertical. Oh, is, it, is, it, is it positive still? 
Okay, so number one, it's vertical, so it's either going to be up or down. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I meant, yeah. Right, Sorry, it's going to be up or down, that. right? And it's going to be up because everything's backwards. You're like, yeah. oh, there's a minus one, so it's which is go going yeah. up. Okay, so uh, it's twice as tall, and then it's going to be one unit upward. Okay. So now we're at the same point that we were before. We know what the transformations are. Order of operations, uh -huh. do your dilation first, and then do your, um, your shift. Okay. okay? All right, um, we did this before, and you kind of already know what those points are, that yeah. we're on nice spots, so I want you to find them again, and then see if you can work out what their um, y values should be. Um, so I'm just so gonna, yeah, let's just find those spots. Yeah, good idea. Um, so I think we had, we have um, all these spots. Okay, now, just before you go any further, right? You've marked them all in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I remember last time, in fact, let's just look at that page before, right? Yep. What I did was I said, oh, the x value, remember you had two intercepts? Mm -hmm. um, you had an int x intercept of 4 over there, and I said, its x value is 4? Yep. So we, we halved that thing, mm -hmm. right? But now, for this problem, we're not thinking about x values at all. We're thinking about y values, y values right? So if I have a look, we're making everything twice as tall, right? Yep. Let's go from left to right. So this guy over here, its x value is negative 1, but I don't care. I'm not interested <laughs> in x values. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right? I'm looking at its y value. What is its y value? Negative 5. Negative 5. Yep. So what am I going to do to that? I want this thing to be... Two. Yeah, I want it to be twice as tall. So negative 5 becomes... Not negative. Is it negative 10? It is. Oh, okay, it is. Sure. I'm doubling it, right? Okay. So um, we were doing red x's for this stage, the first transformation. So mm -hmm. it's down the bottom there at... Uh, negative 10. It's still at the same x value. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. still the same x value because we didn't change it. Yeah, we changed the y value. Good. Okay. Um, the next one's at the origin. So what's its y value? Stays the same. Yeah, it's y value is 0. Um, you double 0, you get 0. Okay, okay, so we'll put an x there. Good. Um, next? Um, it's 3, so it becomes 6. Very good. So y value of 3 turns into 6. Next one along? Um, then it turns to 8. Mm -hmm. Well, the 4 turns into The 4 eight. turns into an 8. And then it sits on the 6 again. Yeah, exactly, because that's symmetry, right? Yeah. Ah, now look at this one, right? Previously, we looked at the x value and therefore it changed. Mm -hmm. What's the y value of this intercept? It's still 0. It's still 0, which is really helpful, because what that means is, in fact, can you imagine if I had another graph which had more intercepts? More yeah. intercepts? Um, if I had like a bunch of x-intercepts over like here and over here, right? Mm -hmm. All of them have a y value of... Zero. zero. So they'd all just go to the same spot. Yep. So, um, you know, uh, if I'm doing a vertical dilation, mm -hmm. all the x-intercepts end up identical. You've done them all now. We've got one last point on the right-hand side. Where's it go? It's just negative. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so um, just like before, I'm just going to do like a little dotted line to um, connect up. Yeah, that's okay. So you can see it's like the parabola we started with, but it's kind of steeper, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, or taller, I think, was the word I used before. So that's good. Um, I've done dilation, and now what's the other change I need to make? Um, moving it up. Yeah, so that minus one, one unit upward. So those same five points, um, I'm just going to Shift them up push one. them up. Yeah, very okay. good. So we'll go over to our other color. Um, and it's really easy, because one unit's so easy it's, to see. Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, OK, I can do this in a fairly... Um, Quick way. I don't even think about the numbers really. Yeah. Because you're just you're looking just at the looking grid lines, right? It. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Great. So, do you reckon you could um, just try and fit it. it all together? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's tricky to be precise, isn't it? You can see yeah. why. I, I totally recommend um, people pencil. use pencil, like yeah. when, when you're actually doing it, um, because. Like, I've been doing this for years, and it's still really hard to get precise the first time. Um, so there's no shame in trying to get it somewhere and then fixing it up if necessary. Yeah, my parabolas end up pretty pointy. Yeah, <laughs> that's, um, that's, very, that's a very common... Like, I've already, I've already, like, undone and redone my graph several times, so there we go. Okay. All right, um, having a look at yours, how do you feel about that? Cute. Like, <laughs> it's pretty cute. Okay, it's cute. Um, I would definitely say, like you said, like that that um, the vertex mm -hmm. is super important. It's a stationary point, and like we know enough calculus now to know, like it has to be smooth at that point. Yeah. So if I looked at your graph and I'm like, oh, it's a bit pointy, I'd definitely get my pencil. I'd be rubbing that out, um, yeah, fixing yeah. that up, so you get the right shape because the shape is kind of um, important, important yeah. to the graph. Okay.